एक और टर्म जो अक्सर यूज होता है उसे कहते हैं स्कैटर प्लॉट्स तो प्लॉट से मुराद जिस तरह हम पहले भी काफ़ी इसको अर्लियर क्लासेस में कर चुके हैं तो प्लॉट से मुराद हमारा ग्राफ है और स्कैटर का मतलब ये है कि जो पॉइंट्स हैं तो मोस्टली स्कैटर्ड फॉर्म में होते हैं सो स्कैटर प्लॉट इज बेसिकली अ ग्राफ विच हैज़ द टू वेरिएबल्स और द पॉइंट्स ऑफ द टू वेरिएबल्स ड्रॉन फॉर डिफरेंट वेरिएबल्स फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज एंड दैट ग्राफ हेल्प अस इन फाइंडिंग और इन सींग द डायरेक्शन ऑफ को रिलेशनशिप एंड वेदर द रिलेशनशिप इज स्ट्रॉन्ग और वीक तो रिमेंबर स्केटर प्लॉट एक ग्राफ होता है जो कि हमें को रिलेशन के बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन देता है लेट एस लुक एट दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ को रिलेशन इन विच द डेटा इज अपटेन फॉर टेम्परेचर और द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द डे एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ आइसक्रीम ईटन बाई पीपल तो जैसे जैसे टेम्परेचर बढ़ता जा रहा है तो द अमाउंट ऑफ आइसक्रीम ईटन बाई द पीपल is also increasing and the researcher has obtained these values he has taken the different temperatures of the day and the ice cream eaten during that part of the day so if these points are plotted on a graph then that graph will give us the scatter plots and which will also tells us the information about the strength of correlation and whether it is positive or negative Here is an example of scatter plots, in which the graph is plotted between two different variables. One is temperature, and the second is amount of money gathered from a sale of ice cream. So, यहाँ पे ये जो points plotted हुए हैं, so these points are plotted by the researcher, and because these points are scattered, therefore these are scatter plots. and in order to find the correlation we try to make a line of best fit so this is a line of best fit which is drawn from the points to line of best fit kya hota hai line of best fit ek aisi straight line hai ki jisme hamari ye koshish hoti hai ki jo graph hai jo graph ki line hai it should pass through maximum points of the of the scatter plot so we can see that this line has crossed five points of the of the graph or jitne bhi points niche reh jaye ya upar reh jaye so they are equally distributed so you make a graph with a straight line such that the it passes to the maximum points of the graph and the amount of or the number of points above the above the line and below the line are same so you can see that it's 1 2 and 3 so three points are below the line and three points are above the line so this is called the line of best fit aisa bhi possible ho sakta hai ki baad waqt aapke paas three points baaki bach jaye jinhone line ko cross nahi kiya ya panch point reh jaye aur us cases mein aap equally distribute nahi kar sakte for example agar five points reh jaye to upar do points और नीचे तीन पॉइंट्स पॉसिबल हो सकते हैं तो उस सूरत में वो भी बेस्ट फिट लाइन होगी सो द स्ट्रेट इंक्रीजिंग लाइन रिप्रेजेंट्स अ पॉजिटिव रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द वेरिएबल्स व्हिच मींस दैट व्हेन वन क्वांटिटी वाज इंक्रीजिंग द अदर क्वांटिटी वाज आल्सो इंक्रीजिंग सो द टू वेरिएबल्स आर इंक्रीजिंग इन द सेम डायरेक्शन और इफ वी गो इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन then if one variable is decreasing the other variable is also decreasing and therefore the graph line is coming down so this scatter plot has provided us the two information first of all it has given us the correlation trend the line of best fit and it has also given us the information that the correlation between them is positive let us look at different scatter plots and try to learn how will be the relationship in these graphs so in the first shape we can see that the points are very far from each other and therefore if i draw a circle around the points so we arrive at a larger circle 
and therefore the larger is the circle the weaker is the relationship kyunki aapke jo points hain wo zyada scattered hain aur zyada scatter hone ki wajah se ye jo circle maine draw kiya hai ye zyada bada ban raha hai and therefore this represents weak relationship but because all these points are in the increasing order therefore we will call it weak positive isi ke comparison mein again mere paas kuch points hai yahan pe is graph number 2 mein and we can see that when if we make a circle pass through all the points so we arrive at a larger circle a circle with a larger area and therefore this is again weak correlation and because this is going in this direction which means that this variable is decreasing while this variable was increasing and therefore this is weak negative yahan pe bhi hamare paas graph number 3 mein kuch points hain aur jab maine unke ird gird ek circle draw kiya hai to ye jo circle hai ye zyada narrow aa raha hai comparatively to the previous circles so because this circle is more closer this has lesser area this means that this is representing a strong relationship and how it is positive that when this variable is increasing so the variable on the y is also increasing and therefore this graph has risen in this direction let us look at graph number 4 again we have these points and when i try to make a circle that encompasses all the points so i again arrive at a narrow circle kyunki points ek dusre ke kareeb kareeb hai so this represents strong relationship and how it is negative that if i try to draw a line of best fit so this line is is going in the opposite direction which means that when this variable was decreasing so this variable was increasing kyunki is point pe hamare paas yahan ki value badi hai aur yahan ki value smaller hai aur is point pe hamare paas x ki value smaller hai aur y ki value badi hai so we can see that that's representing negative relationship